Andy. Oh, Andy. Don't. Don't look at it. Come on, come inside. I don't know where you've gone. It's too cold to be out here. Come on, come inside. That should have been me in there. We've wasted so much time. All my fault. No, I was too hard on you. I mean, this surprise, it wasn't so bad, was it? Anyway, I've got a confession to make. Who? Yeah. My dad. I quite like him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. Might even invite him to the wedding. Are you sure? Have I really got you back that much? Yes. I have a lot to thank Carlos for. All the trouble he went to. I wonder if his magic worked as well on Alan and Diane. I have to go and find out. After breakfast. Well, I, I still prefer Old English, don't you? Yeah. With the bits in. Uh, about last night... Look, about no, last no, night... No, look, it, it was entirely my fault. And Carlos had set up that lovely meal and... I saw my chance and I thought... Well, I thought wrong. Sorry. Uh, forgive me for asking, but was there any particular reason? I mean, we get on so well. We, in so many ways, we seem so ideally suited. I, I was just wondering, is there somebody else? I was wondering about Jack. Yeah. I'm sorry, Alan, it's Jack. So, so, so you like Jack? Yes. And Jack likes you? Yes. Well, I hope so. You hope so? Well, because... Well, I've been to bed with him. Oh, I see. Well, um... But maybe it, it, it was just... It's been going on for quite a while, actually. A long time before the fire, of course. Jack didn't want people to know because of the kids and the court case and everything. No, no, of course not. I think you might have given me a, a little hint, perhaps. Well, I... Yeah. Just to save me from making a complete fool of myself. Sorry. I feel... I feel very small. Hello, love, hello. Oh, thanks, Emily. Running late, aren't you? Oh, no, look at the time. It's all right. Emily's got me breakfast. Oh, that's all right, then. I'm going to give you a shout. Cup of tea would have been nice. Oh, darling. I thought you were coming down for it. Why don't you sit down and drink it? Have I a can't. piece of toast. I can't. I'm late enough as it is. But Jason can start without you for once. You've never been late before. Breakfast is a very important meal for a working woman. You look tired. That's the life of a working woman. Oh, shut your face! And that's a temporary one. Oh, you shut it! You overdoing it, love? No, I just, I just didn't sleep very well. That's all. Nothing wrong, is there? No, and I stopped flushing and just leave me alone. I do like you, Alan. Yes, but not enough, obviously. You like Jack Sugden better. Well, the thing is... No, oh, you two! <laughs> Guess what's happened? Ta-da! About time to. Congratulations. But just a minute. Do I hear the distant peal of other wedding bells here in the Woolpack kitchen? No, no, I don't think you do, Ashley. No, I, I think those bells you can hear must be ours. Oh, well, perhaps it's just the sound of romantic violins, then. No? No. 
Will you excuse me, please? Of course. I'm going out. Out? Out where? I don't know. Anywhere out of this house. You know that... I don't want to stop you from going out, but... And people might, well, some people will want to talk to you, you know, say they're sorry. So you're saying we can't go out? No, I'm not saying that. Well, I, I didn't want to go out anywhere. I don't like seeing where... I don't like seeing the barn. Do you think it's stopping him? Who? Richie. Do you think it's stopping him from going out? Shouldn't think even he'll be out celebrating, bro. Well, why not? He's got what he wanted, hasn't he? She's not going to come back and live with us, is she? Where are you going? Out. For a walk. Don't worry, I won't go into the village. I won't go near any people. Don't want to see him anyway. Do you want solar eating? No. Yeah, I'll be clear. Bye, lovely. Well, they could get knotted. The yes, SS. Well, they cut me off, haven't they? You what? Doesn't want to do the cruddy job. Me? Shelf stacking? Well, what are you going to do now? I'll manage. You'll manage? I've got all hands to feed. What are you going to do for money, Ken? Well, I'll get money. You better have, because I can't manage as it is. I said I'll get some. You see, I can never stop work. Because everything would just be... We'd all just be done for, done for! Now, I've made you wild mushroom risotto for your starters. And there's a rack of lamb with dauphin white potato, haricot vert and baby carrots for your main course and creme brulee for dessert. Oh, great. Can we have it now? All you've got to remember is that when she turns up, put some pans on. Oh, <laughs> will it suit me? <laughs> Sorry. Four pans. Four pans? One. Potatoes, into the oven, moderate heat. Two, veg, moderate heat. Three, gravy, moderate heat. Four, the wild mushroom risotto... Ditto, risotto, ditto. No. Oh. That's the only thing that's even a tiny bit hard. Hard? How do you mean hard? Well, hard, as in a child could do it, but you might have a problem. Right. Add the rest of the stock, the butter, the parmesan, the sautéed mushrooms, and then simmer for five minutes. Simmer? Not burn. Right. Then eat the risotto. Well, I know I'll do that bit. <laughs> By the time you've eaten the risotto, everything else will be ready. How long have we got to eat the risotto? Twelve minutes. Carlos, will you marry me? The creme brulee is in the fridge in two ramekins. I thought it might be. Don't worry. Ramekins are two small dishes. Right, I'm off to work. Hey, hey whoa, 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 hang on. Let me just run through this, right? Um, four pans. Spuds, gravy... Spuds, gravy, veg, all not burning, and a mushroom risotto that needs a lot of stuff added to it. Yeah, mushrooms mainly. Uh -huh. What if I forget anything? I have written you out an idiot's guide. Oh, don't look very cool, though, does it? Ah, you can put it in the fridge. So, if you need to check anything, you can just think, oh, I need some milk or something. Good luck. I do. I do want to marry you. Good luck, mate. Cheers. See ya. Mum! Well, she didn't love you. She was coming back to Dan, that's why you killed her. Oh, you better be careful saying things like that without proof. I don't need proof. I know you killed her. Let's take you home. Here he is. We wanted to say a very <coughs> special thank you. For bringing us back together. Well, somebody had to do it. But you were the one who bothered. Yeah, well, I suddenly got a feeling that Benice was missing you. Well, if you'll excuse me. I mustn't forget other people in the middle of my own happiness. So many people have still not come to terms with this dreadful tragedy. Oh, of course. Jennifer was right. You're a very special kind of man. You're a very special kind of woman. Oh. Police Blackstock? Yes. Mrs. Diane Blackstock's daughter? Yes. And? 
Carlos Diaz. DC Brundle. And DCI Harvey. Just doing some routine inquiries following on from the Sugden fire and Mrs Sugden's death. I see. Your mother is a close friend of Jack Sugden's, I gather. We're all close to Jack round here. We all know him. We'd like to ask you both about the night Jack Sugden publicly threatened to kill his wife here in the Woolpack. He did it. We don't know. Well, I do. We only think it. Well, how else could it be? Well, you can't just go hitting him. Well, you did. Yeah, well, I was wrong. I was, I was out of control. But you don't regret it. He killed my mum. I could kill him for that. You've got to stop talking like that. The, the police will sort it out. That's what they're there for. But what if they don't? They don't always get the right person. Yeah, but they usually do. No, if they don't, I'll get him. I'll kill him. Stop it! You've got to stop talking like this, don't you see? It'll drive you mad. But he killed her. Robert, he killed her. Dad. Bad time. Are there any good times? No, it's, it's good you've come. We all need to calm down, all of us. Dad. Uh, Andy, take Robert over to Cathy's, will you? She said she's got some new videos for you to watch. I think now is a good time. I don't need taking anywhere. I'm not a child. Is he all right? Robert, yeah, he's just wanting to do something. Anyway, what do you care? You told the police about us. No. Yes. And if they tell the kids, I don't know what it'll do to them just now. I wouldn't. I don't know who's on my side anymore. I'm on your side, Jack. Whatever <sighs> happens, I love you. not what I need right now. And the kids, you know, they'd never cope. Thank you, but let's leave it for a bit, eh? Two, three. Just put my pants on. They suit you. Hey? Very good. You're a bit late, actually. Sorry. Well, it's only a few minutes, isn't it? Well, it's supposed to take five minutes to cook risotto, twelve minutes to eat it, and now we're going to have to eat it in four and a half minutes. Are we in a hurry? No. No, no, it's just, um, I don't want dinner to burn. It's, um... Rack of lamb with dauphin wine potatoes. Sounds lovely. I had no idea you were such a fancy cook, as well as everything else. Glass of wine. Thank you. I should be doing something. I know I should. Damn. I just need some milk. <laughs> Parmesan butter. So, who did you say you played rugby before? You know, when you were a pro? Uh, Farsley. Oh, I don't know much about rugby. Oh, they're in the uh, Premier First Division. Uh, cheers. <laughs> cheers. I've forgotten something, I know I've. <laughs> oh. Just need an egg. Pratt! I beg your pardon? Uh, nothing. Uh, wild mushrooms for the risotto. 
Wrong pun. <sighs> Cleaner's day off. <laughs> are you, uh, are you going to do something with that egg? Oh, egg, yeah. <laughs> Marie Oh, what? Nothing. Won't be long. <sighs> with Diane, I can offer her everything, but... Her heart is somewhere else. Yeah. With Jack Sugden. Yes. Do you knew? How you two must have laughed at me behind my back. Oh, no, Alan, we wouldn't do that. We both care about you very much. Will you excuse me? Please came in earlier asking. Mum, are you all right? No. I told Jack how I felt about him and, and it was the wrong time and now he doesn't want to see me anymore. Oh, Mum. Neither does he, does he? Oh, please, what have I done? Alan's my best friend and I love Jack and I've lost them both. I said it for the money. I wanted to help you. You said you ain't got any. You said I bought the insurance and it'd be worth more. So I just thought it'd be a good idea to burn the barn. I got the can and I poured petrol all over it. And I set light to it. I didn't know she was in there. I didn't. She was my mum. I'd never had a mum. I wouldn't hurt my mum. She's the reason I'm here. But I shouldn't be here though, should I? Bad luck. Ever since I've been to stay here, everything's just gone wrong. And now this. I killed my own mum. I'm bad. I've got bad blood in me. It's from my dad. I'm just a bad luck child. No! Where are your clothes? What? The clothes you were wearing. Where are they? Oh dear. You still look very tired. Can I, can I get the tea for you? <laughs> Please tell me what it is. I might be able to help. I think... I think I might be pregnant. That's wonderful news. Isn't it? <laughs> is it? I don't know. But I don't know. I haven't planned it. Well, Belle was a surprise, and we managed. But I'm the breadwinner, Emily, and we can hardly manage as it is. You can have all my wages if you want. Oh. Oh, you're a good girl, Emily. But no, no, you keep your wages for now. We'll see. <laughs> it's not even certain yet. <laughs> Wait another day. Why do we have to burn them? They checked all my clothes. They might want to check yours. Who? The police. What for? Petrol. Traces of petrol. Will they still be on them, then? I don't know. I'm not taking any chances. I can't remember what socks I was wearing. Pants and stuff. Oh, get them all. All your underwear. We'll burn the lot. What about my wellies? Get them, too. We'll burn the lot. There's nothing else, is there? No. Oh, run, then. Creme brulee. Mm, fantastic. So, what's the name of this uh, millionaire friend of yours, then? Chris. Chris Ramekin Tate. Chris Ramekin Tate? Yeah. Ramekin? Yeah. You're making it all up. Yeah. Farsley Premier First Division. 
The rugby career? <sighs> Strictly third division. The millionaire friend? He's my boss. I just drive him about. Hey, we're all in Viv Windsor's head. This house? Rented. Bachelor pad, three of us. We'll share it with two chefs. Marlon and Carlos. So you didn't even cook the meal yourself? You can leave now if you like. Leave? You must be joking. I haven't had this much fun in years. And uh, the rest of your attractions are, I know, real enough. Well? What are you waiting for? <laughs> we'll get every trace of it off, they'll never know. They'll never be able to prove a thing. I'm not going to lose you too, Andy. <laughs> I'm not going to lose you too. 